Hey guys, it is Mark Co for Tuesday, 17th of July. It's been a few days since I've done a video, so I just wanted to take a look at some of the moves today in the short term. Again, um, dealing with our day trading component here. Two markets we focus on on a short term time frame is crude oil and the e-mini. So let's take a look at what happened here in crude oil. So first off, crude oil starts us out long side. You can see this early morning U.S. And, and it was a bit of a... a tough market here depending on where you chose to run stops typically what I like to do is go below swing lows or go above swing highs so coming into US session here on a Tuesday 17th of July uh, this is what I have I have 67.19 as the lows uh, the market traded 03 so there was this was stopped out um, but the nice part is that it is able to get back long side um, there was a little bit of back and forth in here, some congestion, but when the market finally breaks out, it's able to take care of those losses. So it gets us back long side, takes you up, and you can see again what I'm using for the for the signals here, buy or sell count. So buy count gets you long, that one stopped out, um, gets you back entered into it, which again then takes a uh, about a 50, 60 point move higher and then gets short. And so as we get into late U.S. post uh pit close here in crude oil the market is short from 23 currently trading about 06 so at continuing to add on um, but nonetheless positive day e-mini is a little bit different e-minis um, experienced some a pretty good run to the top side so the e-mini started out the early early u.s morning um, before i was trading started out long it ends up going back short side and again what i'm doing in terms of stops uh, working swing highs or swing lows in terms of stops. So there was a short signal that existed here from 93, stops out at 95. So you give up about two points there in the stop, and then it picks back up with the buy count, uh, and it was able to capture that uh, little over 15-point run. So 15 per per E-mini contract, so about a $750 gain. Gets you short at 1.30 this afternoon at 28.12. Market currently sits at 10.5. So net-net, it's about a $1,000 day, again, on one contract. So not too shabby. Um, most days we're seeing uh, positive and uh, some really nice upside days when, when the markets cooperate and uh, days where it's a little more congestive. Um, certainly not getting destroyed. Always what you love to see, but it is. It's an active approach. Um, it's something we're doing during the U.S. session, and if you haven't seen it, check it out. But it's um, it's been nice to add this component, the day trading component. A lot of people are starting with smaller accounts, so it gives you an ability to at least participate on a uh, a one contract um, setting and and be able to to focus on markets that have some volatility. So as I said, uh, profitable on E-minis, profitable on crude oil, and uh, we'll look for activity on Wednesday and see how that treats us. So for, for Tuesday afternoon, it is Marco, and uh, cheers.